Hello, baby mama girls. Uh, this is your third session. And prayerfully, uh, you all have taken into account some of the things that I've been sharing with you about yourself. And prayerfully, you will actually develop what's called good sense to do something about it. I'm praying this for you. Now today, we are going to talk about another thing that you have done to your sons. As it is, you find it difficult to come to grips with any or most or some of the things that you are responsible for where your children are concerned. And prayerfully you have actually come to the realization of your life and theirs that you have screwed your children up. You have screwed your children up. Uh, today we're going to talk about how you screwed your sons up. That's what we're going to talk about today. Yes, today we're going to talk about you and your son. Today we're going to talk about how you screwed him up so badly that he's not fit for a decent relationship. It's going to be difficult enough for him to find a decent girl to settle down with if that is his longing. And the reason that he will find it nearly impossible to do that will be because of you. Now, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Baby mama girls, your son ain't your man. Your son ain't your man. I mean, how dare you chain that boy to you with guilt and shame. Because that's what you do over the course of the years that you have him. While you're messing him up. I mean, it wasn't bad enough. You named him some uneducated, ghetto-ass, unpronounceable name. That wasn't enough that you did to him. That wasn't enough. Because see, he'll be stuck with that name either until he comes of age and is able to legally change it from that little girl fanciful nonsense you stuck on him. And I really hope he does. I hope he does. Uh, um, he, can't get a job he can't get a job because of what you named him. Because whenever people, because whenever read, people his read his name on an application, the first thing they're going to think is, oh, ghetto, ghetto dumb, and dumb, and stupid. Because that's what you project out here. And if you don't think that the people that your boy is going to ask for a job from don't see world star you are so sadly mistaken you put your ignorance on display on world star and other platforms and they're just going to look at his name and he's not going to get the job thanks to you thanks to you thanks to you yeah he's going to be stuck with that until he develops a good sense to change it legally but you love him, don't you? You love your, you love your babies, don't you? Mm-hmm. You love your babies. 
Now, just to give you, just to give you the uh, uh, shortcut to this, because you because you ruined your life, and to this and to day, this day, you will not you will not. Say it out loud, although you'll feel it every minute of every day that you are awake. You still don't have a man. You have conscripted your own son to be your man. You've trained him to cater to you like you're his woman. Some of you weak delusional girls have the gall to protect uh, to project your guilt onto your son how do you do that how do you do that you see there are internal issues going on with you and you project those issues onto other people and because you ain't got no man you know you ain't fit for no man You've turned that little boy into your damn man. Your son, your son your man. ain't your man. He's not your man. He's not your man. And by you conscripting, by you conscripting him to be your man, to be your man. I mean, I mean, you project your, you guilt, project your guilt onto him as if that's not enough. So much so. So much so. That he that he feels obligated to you. Yeah. yeah. He feels obligated to you above anything and everybody else. You did that to him. You will ensure by doing this, you will ensure that he never has a successful relationship. Because you'll always insinuate yourself in it. And in his and in his relationship. You're gonna do that. You're gonna do that. You're gonna do that. You're gonna do that. You're gonna insinuate, you're gonna insinuate yourself in his, in his relationship. Because you don't because want, you don't your, want son your son to leave you. To leave he, you. Ain't he ain't your man. Whatever man you whatever enjoy, man you, you whatever enjoy, boy you enjoyed those three to minutes with to get him. He ain't in your life, is he? And you see, and you see, you, you little girls, because a man will lay down with you does not mean he wants to be with you. And you should have learned that you made that you made a mistake, especially if you were pregnant longer than you were with. The baby daddy. You're through. You're through. You're gone. You're gone. Because if, because that's, the if that's, that's the world that you brought your into, little boy into, you're wrong for that. You're wrong for that. You are all kinds, you are all kinds of wrong for that. You were pregnant. You were longer pregnant longer than you were with the baby daddy. You are wrong for that. But you didn't care. You didn't care. Not at all. No, sir. No, sir. And here's why. And here's why. Because, because you will resent the fact that some other woman, that some other woman one, that he, can one that he can actually lay down with, has your, son has your son's attention. You hate that. You hate that. You hate that. Because he's looking at, because he's looking at another not woman you. and not you. He's going, to cater to He's going to cater to her and not you. Your son, your ain't, son your ain't your man. Your son is not your, son is not your man. You got to share something with you. Because, see, because I see, when I know that you, uh, baby, mama, uh, baby mama, mama little girl, don't know, don't know what you do not what you know, do not know is, because that, is because that girl has your son's attention. Has your son's attention you are hating every bit of it because in your warped mind that's your man yeah yeah that's your man that's your man 
and apparently that's the only man you think you can keep. Got some lessons, Got some lessons for you here today. Uh, um, this 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 other girl, this other girl who, has your son's who has your son's attention. <laughs> What you know is, you know is men, stopped. men stopped paying attention to you years ago. Years ago. When you let yourself go and started backing on all that fat. Ain't nothing desirable about you at that point. And you were so lazy when you saw the fat creeping up on you. Did you get on the floor and do sit-ups, crunches, leg lifts? Did you go to the gym? No. Nope. You nope. just kept, you just kept fatter, getting fatter, fatter and fatter. And I'm going to touch on that in another session. But I'll tell you why, but I'll tell you, why you did that. That's called resignation. That's called resignation. And, we'll talk about and we'll talk about that on another video. But, but uh, uh, because, men stopped, because men stopped paying attention to you years ago, you hate that, that fact. You will, you will have and have destroyed your, destroyed your son's relationship because you want your man back. You want your man, you want your man back. Because, because what you're, what you're mostly, afraid mostly afraid of is you're going, is you're going to die alone. I want that to sink in, to sink in to you, to you girls. little girls. You're going, to die, You're going to die alone. And in your delusional, in your delusional state, state you, won't recognize, you won't recognize the fact you will, you die, will alone. die alone. But in reality, but in reality if, he goes if he goes off to build a life, you will be alone. You will be alone. And, that's and that's a fact. You will be alone. You will be alone. Now, I'm a, master. I'm a master of the third degree, and, and let, me show you let me show you your future. Throughout the, Throughout the succeeding generations, the program, the program to, have your entire, to have your entire species exchange XY chromosomal roles will have come to its eventual conclusion. Mm -hmm. The boys will be the girls, will be girls, and, the girls will and the girls will be boys. Now near the end, now, near the end of this program, the y. the y chromosome will become little more than pack animals. Beasts to carry your burden. Just like you're burdening your son right now. Oh yes, you are playing right into the program, baby mama. You playing right into the program. You see, you see, because, because little girl, due to the fact, due to the fact that you have that you have finally, finally resigned, yourself resigned yourself to being an old, woman, being an old woman, the first, the rational, first question rational question you're going to ask is, where did the time go? Where did the time go? You see, because when you were 15 and 16, you thought you had all the time in the world. But instead of building on that and fulfilling promises you made to yourself, you decided to become a baby mama. And if you don't fix that, and for those of you who didn't, you're through. Life's over for you. Blew it. You blew it because you wanted, because you wanted to be a baby mama. You blew it. You, blew it. you see, where did, the time where did the time go? All you have to do is turn around one good time. And you're 40 years old. 